All right, we're gonna talk about our Atlantic salmon management areas today. We have two of those rivers. One is here on the Naugatuck River. Uh, we have two different sections. The upper section is in Campville, which is a part of uh, Harwinton and Litchfield along Route 8, exit 41, if you know the area. And the second is down here in, in Naugatuck to Beacon Falls. Those are our two sections on the Naugatuck River. And then we, our other river in Eastern Connecticut is the Chetucket River. One of the more common questions people have for us is why don't we stock them in the Farmington or the Connecticut rivers? Because, you know, that's equally good places to fish. And that is a very good question. And we do not do that because this program started as stocking surplus brood stock uh, into our rivers to create a recreational fishery. At the same time, uh, the restoration efforts were full bore going on in the Connecticut River watershed. The Atlantic salmon were nearly extirpated from the Connecticut River watershed in 1798 when there was a dam built near Holyoke. And for the following four springs, every time the Atlantic salmon returned from sea, people harvested those fish with nets. It didn't take long for simply four years to wipe out the entire brood stock or the spawning stock for the Connecticut River watershed. And since that time, there's been massive amounts of resources and dollars put forth to restore Atlantic salmon to the Connecticut River watershed, unfortunately, which never, ever, ever really came to fruition. And in 2013 was formally ended by the federal government. Connecticut still maintains Atlantic salmon at our K Kensington State Fish Hatchery where for twofold purpose. One is to maintain the genetic uh, material of the Connecticut River strained fish uh, on earth essentially like a zoo so if it was an endangered species these this genetic material is being maintained through proper breeding protocols and second to support a recreational fishery on our two Atlantic salmon management areas the Naugatuck River and the Chetucket River so we're producing fish specifically for anglers at the same time we're also keeping that genetic material um, available and on earth in order to uh, have people be able to fish for Atlantic salmon, we needed to put them in a watershed outside of the Connecticut River because we didn't want to be able to uh, confound issues with um, restoration efforts. It's also noted that it's not legal to fish for Atlantic salmon anywhere else except for in our designated Atlantic salmon management areas and lakes where we stock them. So the Naugatuck River drains to the Housatonic, which goes to Long Island Sound, and the Chetucket River goes to the Thames both of which do not connect to the Connecticut River at all. And therefore we were allowed to stock these extra fish into um, these rivers for anglers to have an excellent and unique recreational fishing opportunity. These fish create an amazing draw. Lots of people anticipate our stocking of these fish every fall and come out and spend a lot of quality hours on beautiful days like this uh, fishing for Atlantic salmon in either the Chetucket or Naugatuck rivers. The rules are a little bit complicated in that the um, fishing for these fish in the designated areas is catch and release only until December uh, through December 15th. And when you're fishing for the fish, regardless of harvest or catch and release, it's restricted to an artificial lure with a single free swinging hook. So not a treble hook, just a single hook or a fly. And the most com confusing part of the regulation is the no additional weight may be added to the line. And that part of the regulation is written in there so that people could not add weight to their line attempting to potentially snag the fish. It was really uh, to prevent, you know, unethical fishing behavior. So our single free swinging hook, again, is just like a regular hook. If you go out and buy a, any regular lure, it usually comes with a treble hook. You can take that treble hook off and you can replace it with a single hook and you'll be good to go. Another common question we have is, is a jig head considered a free swinging hook? And the answer is no. A jig with a weighted jig head is not a free swinging hook. It's a single hook, but it doesn't free swing. It's fixed to the, to the weight of the jig head. So um, those types of lures are also not allowed. These fish are a specialty fish. They're produced specifically for this fishery in the Naugatuck and the Chetucket rivers. We can only produce about 1,200 to 1,500 of these fish every year due to our um, capacity at that hatchery. And therefore we want as many people as possible to go out and catch these fish. So we have quite a few rules so that the fish have a fair chance at staying as long as possible. So the Atlantic salmon that we specifically produce for our Atlantic salmon management areas come in 
two forms more or less. The smaller fish, what we call two plus fish, are two or more years old. They're generally around 18 to 22 inches and weigh between two and five pounds. Those fish um, are put out uh, as barren fish. They haven't spawned or not going to spawn uh, at our hatchery. So they're put out early in the season. Uh, usually that's our first round of stocking in um, late September, early October, sometime in that time frame when, when they need to get out of the hatchery. The second type of fish that we put out are what we call three plus, which means they're three or more years old, sometimes four years, and we've even had up to five-year-old fish at one point. These fish tend to be very, very large, usually well over 24 inches and eight to 20 pounds in some cases. If you have any other questions or would like to see the history of Atlantic salmon management in Connecticut, visit our webpage, ct.gov forward slash fishing will get you there if you google it or google atlantic salmon management in connecticut we'll get you right there get out and enjoy great time to uh, fish for salmon in connecticut during the fall and early winter beautiful rivers hope you enjoy the fish